new count review what's up guys it's number 30 after so many months now made it to 30 yeah and there's still like seven more to go before i'm all caught up Woo! <laughs> so it only took me about f probably five months to, to do this so yeah uh it's gonna be a while anyways uh, another month ago we got a fresh account today klaxosaur level 68 this is gonna be a fun one because i'm excited I love doing uh, the uh, low level accounts because there's so much to talk about when it comes to those kind of accounts. My personal, personal favorite. Anyways, um, uh, there is an update review version of my account review. What? I assume this is the updated one. Uh, uh, is it? Okay, yeah, it is. Uh, let me just double check though. Um, you... yes it is, yes it is, yes it is, okay, cool, 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 alright, updated one, nice, 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 alright, so, uh, not gonna talk about statistics, you got ways to go, commissions and stuff, this is as fresh as I can get, honestly, I think you started probably like, um, this was sent in middle of February, I'm gonna assume you started like late January, so, Right when the time I start being super crazy on YouTube. Good timing, by the way. So, uh, let's dig right into it. So, first of all, if you haven't watched my videos already, I explained many, many times. If you're a fresh player, work on those levels. And I think you're doing that as of right now. So, you pick a couple ships that you like. Let's say you like Enterprise, you like SX, you like uh, Z23. Just pick ships you like. Get them to as high as you can. Specifically... Uh, for most new players, about a hundred is okay. Try to get to a hundred, and then work from there. Um, but pick some you like, and level one hundred ship should get you up until probably like world eight or so with mediocre gear. Probably nine, uh, with mediocre gear. And for events, you could probably knock out like up until probably uh C three or whatever. Uh, but that's good enough for most new players. So. If you can, just pick some new ships, get them to one uh, 100, good to go. And then, uh, keep in mind as well, someone brought this up a while back. When you get a ship to level 100 as a new player, you're going to unlock your first set of uh, cog ship dailies. Now, the bad part about this is that those dailies, you need to bring a level 100 ship. So, unless you have multiple, multiple level 100 ships, um, it's going to be hard to do those dailies. So, in this case, you have Z23 as your... Uh, your, low, your level 100, post level 100 ship, she's the only one that can do the cog ship dailies. So keep that in mind. Try to get another one if possible. Try to get at least three going on. Three is a good place. So like get your Ionami to level 100 and get like one other ship to level 100. And then you can get, uh, you can get those dailies funneling in because you cannot do those cog ship dailies without a level 100 ship or more. God knows why they, they, they allowed that to happen. That should, that should be fixed, honestly. Uh... But until that gets fixed, or if ever it gets fixed, uh, get multiple level 100s if you can to make those cog chip dailies a lot easier to do so don't fill up your slots. So you can get more maximum income and resources from daily missions because daily missions or daily commissions give a lot of resources for what they're worth. So as of right now, uh, try working on the levels as, a, uh, as you can. Get them to 100, you're good to go. Always keep playing gadgets if you can. Um, I know for no, most new players, they lock on cubes or whatever. So my take on that is if you're not a super active player, pull on the ones you want. But if you are willing to commit the uh, time to farm and whatnot, I have many, many uh, videos about how to farm stuff like uh, commissions, levels, gears and whatnot. 2, 1, 7, 2, 8, 4, 12, 4 and stuff. Um, if you can commit the, uh, the hours and time, Farm as many cubes as you can, so you can try. You can pull on every single banner possible. Now, obviously, this is for if you want to go for 100% collection. It's gonna take it's gonna take a few years to do that, but um, in the process, you're gonna be knocking down your um, progression for say uh, research. Um, and like other things, like let's say there's another banner coming out in the future, and you get screwed over there. Is my screwed over but if you keep farming cubes though you should be okay just know as a begin a new newer player you're gonna lack a lot a lot of cubes if you can spend i would say spend like a month just farming cubes so you don't get super super like 
backed up on how much you can spend to make your process for events a lot easier. But that's just me, though. You don't have to. You don't want to do that. But that's what I would do in this case. Uh, you have multiple San Diegos. I would fuse them all into one. I don't keep duplicates of any ships in general except like zombies or like low-level fodder ships that I used to farm many, many, uh, place, uh, many, many times with in a certain map. Otherwise, though, I don't like keeping duplicates around. I would feed them all in. Obviously, they cost cubes, though, so keep them, uh, not cubes, they cost coins. So you're going to have to burn some coins, but you should be okay. You should be okay there. So, uh, let's scroll down further. You got some gold gear going on. Very, very good. Keep popping up, uh, popping those gold gear boxes and make the gear gearing process a lot easier for you. So, keep doing that. Uh, I would say get more, uh, uh, repair toolkits and whatnot, but most of your problems can be fixed by just keep popping, popping, popping those gold gear boxes. Once you have uh, a lot of them popped, you'll have a good foundation on gear that you can use, like gold barracudas, planes, uh, guns and whatnot. So that should be okay for you. Now, let's talk about things that you can farm that'll be very, very useful to you. A, a good gun you can farm as of right now is the 406 mk6 i don't see any as of right now in this list but i would say farm a couple of those probably get like three for the time being but you definitely 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 need some good bb guns because right now you have like no good bb guns these bb guns right here are awful i do not recommend using them at all this one is also not that good as well get some better bb guns there's there's better purple ones compared to these gold ones right here Farm them. 406 MK6 is a good starter, and the 410 uh, MM is also very, very good as well too. So farm those if you can. Slot those into your ships. Like Hood can use the 410, Duke of York can use the 406, and you should be okay. So farm those maps. I believe the maps you can farm those in are like 63. I think 63 should give both of them. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, or at least 64 gives 410s or something. I think 63 gives both though. 63 or 62, I can't remember, it's one of those maps. Uh, but farm one of those maps, get a lot more uh, BB guns, and that should be uh, good for you for at least for a while until you get to like more uh, foundational stuff um, geared up and whatnot. But as of right now though, aside from farming up the, the important guns and stuff, definitely, definitely, definitely pop more uh, uh, gear boxes because you're gonna need a lot of gear. Yeah, you need a lot of gear in general as of right now. So. Do that and farm those BB guns. Now, there's not much to talk about for these things right here. Um, obviously, a new player lacks books in general. Skill books and all that jazz are very, very lacking. That just comes from just playing this game for a long period of time. Do your dailies every single day um, and whatnot. And you should be okay. Make sure you're doing the daily raids as high as you possibly can. And then the other stuff should be good to go. So, get the plates up. Get more skill books and all that stuff. Most of it, though, comes from just playing a game for a long, long period of time. Uh, but you're up to 7-2, though. Very, very good. That's a good stopping point if you want EXP as well as purple plates. But, like I said earlier, purple plates is nice and all. But you're not in a position right now where you can have a lot of gear, uh, a lot of uh, gear to enhance. Why I say this is because right now you're at seven two, right? Seven two is one of the worlds uh, where it has suicide bombers in it. And from what I see, you have very, very poor BB guns. And in terms of BBs invested as of right now, um, let's look in here. You have almost no battleship except maybe a Duke of York and Nelson, which are very, very good battleships, by the way, to carry you through the PVE. These are basically your only battleships. You don't have very, very good uh, BB guns right here. So get the 406 MK6, get the 410 MM from 6.2 or 6.3, I believe. I'll tell you in the video somewhere. Uh, but get those and then get some good auxiliary guns. I believe the ones I tell people to get is like f from 4.3 or something. You have them equipped on Rodney right, or uh, Nelson right now. So these right here, slot them onto your uh, battleships. Duke of York can use one, and Nelson can use the other one. These are very, very good uh, suicide bomber defense guns. So slot these in. These are very, very good. Highly recommend for when you're traveling through uh, World 6 through like World 11 or so. Those are very, very good guns. And then once you get the four uh, uh, core foundations done, then you can farm the purple place and whatnot. But I see as of right now, you're working on levels. I hope you are. 7-2 is definitely a good map, but my, your biggest concern right now is just to get gear. And gear with levels. 
Well, 7-2 you can get gear, but it's like anti-air and planes. You don't really need those as of right now because you're trying to get through World 7. World 7, you don't really need planes. You need battleships because they protect you from the suicide bombers. So farm 6 whatever map and uh, open up more gear, gear gearboxes, get more uh, guns. If you can, if you get some Belfast guns or whatever they're called, Mogami guns or whatever people call them. Back in my day, they called them Belfast guns because it's the best gun for Belfast. Get those guns, put them on your battleships for more damage, you're good to go, right? But honestly, these two uh, auxiliaries for BBs are perfectly fine. The most important thing right now is to get proper, proper main guns on your battleships. So farm those maps and then get the levels. And then you can farm 7-2 if you want and get more purple plates. You can also get purple plates in uh, World 6 as well when you're farming the uh, 406 MK6 and the 410s. But purple plates... And you get coins as well from 7-2. And yeah, you just need gear, coins, EXP. You pretty much need everything as a new player right now. So farm the World 6 map. Then you come back to 7-2 later. And farm, farm, farm. Get those purple plates.